Well, good morning. I hope you're doing well. Last time we killed the warden and came back and got a new quest to repair the bridge leading northwest out of Devil's Crossing. Now I had thought for sure that that was the bridge I found near Burwich Village beneath it dynamite, but I looked it up, I was very much wrong. And in fact, it was a lot closer than I thought. It's this very first bridge over here. It says the bridge once connected Devil's Crossing to the Arcovian foothills to the northwest. It must be restored before you can cross it. All right, let's repair the bridge. And let's see what sort of trouble we get into here, huh? Well, this is a very different looking place. Oh, that's gruesome. That's gruesome looking indeed. Joke. Oh, I guess we're not going that way. <laughs> that way is clearly blocked off. Not that there seems to be anything there anyway, so. Okay, very good. We found a whole bunch of uh, bandits, didn't we? Yep, we did. We sure did. Let's uh, not die. <laughs> Enemy hero killed. You'll pay for this. <coughs> Darius wants this prison, and when he finds out what you've done, Edmund spits up blood, he'll wish I shanked you dead. Rest in peace, scum. Okay. He's done. Done and dusted. Got anything else to say for yourself? No? Okay, very good. Make sure we didn't miss any goodies here before we go back. Seem to have missed a mob or two. Oh, see, they were nicely set up here. Okay, back we go. Oh, maybe we should check out this nice shiny chest, huh? Whoa, that was all sorts of, um, what was that called? Iron bets? Yeah, kind of glad I decided to be nosy. Thank you for your iron bits. I sure appreciate it after all the iron bits I just spent on building the bridge to get over here and kill you. Nothing good there. And this leads uh -huh, to the other side of that. Very tricky. Very tricky. 
Make us go all the way around instead of sneaking in the back. Oh, is there somebody else in here? Huh. Well, I guess there was. <laughs> there isn't any more. By the time I got unstuck, they'd already taken care of it. Well, they have this place well defended, actually. Not bad. For a bunch of thugs. For a second there, I thought something was following me, other than the bird. But it turns out it was a bird shadow. I've got somebody over here watching the pass now that it's open. That's neat. And probably very wise. Okay. Well, do they like our housewarming gift? I killed the man in charge by the name Shanks. You work fast. I like that. We'll need more of that for what's coming next. What's our next target? Darius Cromley. Last I've seen his face, they almost hung him for a double homicide. The warden intervened at the last minute in favor of a life sentence in Devil's Crossing. Seems there were ulterior motives after all. Darius Cromley is the devil made manifest, devious and manipulative with a penchant for sin of every kind. He's the one running this gang, and he's the one we need to go after next. Do you have a plan? We have to hit them hard and fast, leave no room for a counter-strike. I've only seen a portion of their operations in the region, but they are really entrenched on the four hills in Old Arcovia. Shanks surely wasn't Darius's only lieutenant, so I suggest you find the rest and kill them. We don't want one of them taking over after Darius is dealt with. I don't have any names for you, but they will probably have equally clever prison names as our dead friend Shanks. But to really end this, you need to cut off the head of this operation, Darius Cronley. If what I hear is true, you will find him hiding out in the mines underneath the Four Hills. Lastly, my scouting partner, Elsa, must still be out there with them. If I venture to guess, Cronley has her in his clutches. Save her from that brute. I hear you are quite capable, so don't let me down. When you find yourself out there, I recommend you seek out a man by the name Quaid. He and his group forsook the peaceful ways of the rovers in favor of fighting back against the outlaws. And I'm glad they did. It was Quaid's people that pulled me from the jaws of death. I'll get on it. Well, sounds like we have our work cut out for us, huh? At least it's in a new area. I kind of appreciate that we have a change of scenery. Alright, so, where to next? Oh, there's a house over here. Bunch of bad guys in it. They're sadist. Oh, they're actually human. Oh, huh, doggo's in here taking care of business. Nice. Oh, I will take all your iron bits. I can see her. Fair. Since she tried to kill me. I think this was just where our bad guys were from earlier. Yeah, I think it was. Except, uh, it seems that Buddy Boy's gone. Maybe we should have killed him. Killed him. Because last time I checked, he was kind of still alive. Alright, doggo, dinner is served. Pretty area. <laughs> Definitely uh, looking nothing like Devil's Crossing. Oh, hi. How are y'all?
Okay, we can cross here. We'll see what else is over here first. Nothing here. At least nothing we can get to from this direction. What's this? Drew Larkin. Hello? Who are you? You there. Here at Dying Man Up, will you? What happened to you? Backstabbed by my partner. Only man I thought I could trust on this forsaken hellhole. We were traveling, cart full of scrap we salvaged from some rundown homes. When I guess the bastard decided that splitting the profits 50-50 just wasn't going to cut it. He jumped me in the middle of the night and stabbed me right in the gut, made off with all the loot, and left me to die out here. If you ever run into a man in a patchwork green jacket going by the name Isaiah, you cut him down for me. Will ya? Don't suppose he got too far down the road, pushing the cart by himself. I'll track down this partner of yours. Okay. He's either dead or going to be dead soon. I mean, I kind of wish they'd give you the option to send him to Devil's Crossing, but him and his buddy are kind of thieves, aren't they? I think this is, um... Isaiah. Who are you? What do you want from me? Are you Isaiah? I'm here about your partner. The swine isn't dead yet? Let me explain. This is a huge misunderstanding. Say what you have to say, but make it quick. Jura is a worthless scum. This mess wasn't about the hollow scrap. That bastard tried to rape my daughter Josephine when we were last camped out. I confronted him and he got violent, riding out there long the road is the least he deserved for trying to overpower a young girl. Hmm. So, who do we believe? The guy bleeding out on the road? Or the guy over here telling me a tale? Dude, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. I'm sorry I rushed to judgment. Be more careful in the future. You can count on that. Travel safe, stranger. Well, well it looks like you're not having much better luck than your uh, partner was. Oh, hi. Death is only the beginning, is what he says. Now, where have I heard that before? Death is only the beginning. Chronicles of Riddick? I believe that's what the uh, cultist in the movie used to say. Death is only the beginning. You know what I haven't seen yet? Not one stinking waypoint. Oh, uh, well, <laughs> I guess I stand corrected. There's one right there. I'm like, let's do a quick scout around and see what else is here. Uh, dead guy. Bunch of dead guys. Oh, thank you, Birdie. Uh, 
don't have anything good. No? Kind of disappointed. Oh, what we got here? Hold on. That was crossing. Hyman's Retreat and Old Arcovia. I guess we'll take that. Sell it for some scrap. Oh, we found some sort of encampment. Let's talk to these fine folk here. Hello, pleased to meet a friendly face out here. Bandits don't usually grant us the courtesy. Since you're traveling these parts, I was wondering if you could help us out. What do you need assistance with? Our elder, Matthias, has gone missing following a recent raid on our camp. The elder was determined to keep our talisman, a precious relic of my people, away from their greedy hands, and so he fled into the nearby ruins when the bandits showed up. And it's been several days, and I'm beginning to fear the worst. Please, if you find yourself exploring the ruins west of Staunton Mine, seek out Elder Matthias. If it is as I feared, and the elder is dead, please at least recover the talisman. It is a small object carved from bone, and carries great spiritual significance to us. We would be eternally grateful for its return. I will search for Yelder. Oh, hello. Um, would you like to buy some junk from me? You can buy that. You can buy that. Uh, let's see, what's this? Oh, you can definitely buy that. Oh, wait a second. I got some dynamite. Okay. I don't know how I got that, but I got some. Well... That'll be useful later. Definitely not selling that. You can forget about it. We'll not be selling that at all, but I wonder if you have any... Nope. Nope. Oh, would it be under ranged weapons? Nope. Okay. I was hoping maybe the vendor would have some. But nope. Oh, here's somebody else who'd like to talk to us. Excuse me. Hello. Greetings, stranger. A pleasure to meet someone who doesn't begin a meeting with weapons. Can't say the same for the gang up the hill to the east. You're having trouble with bandits. Violent and bloodthirsty murderers, all of them. Everything we despise in this world. And now they've set up a barricade along the road to trap travelers such as ourselves. We've set up camp here while we decide what to do. The best course of action would be to blow that barricade, allowing our brothers and sisters of the road to travel in peace. However, we lack the means to do so. Say... You look like a capable sort. Let's make a deal. Staunton Mine is to the west of here is abandoned, but it may have some explosives. If you recover some dynamite and use it to destroy that wretched blockade, I can offer you some coin for your troubles. What do you say? Sure, I'll help you out. Alright, so we got a couple of quests here. To go along with the quests we already have. Uh, we might as well take a quick look around gargantuan stone tusk <laughs> all right guys you can come down here and grab you some uh dinner at least you won't starve while you're trying to figure things out Looks like we can't go that way. Detonation site. Okay. So, we've reached the detonation site. We just need... Oh! Only one dynamite. Okay. Alright. So, we've cleared that. Blockade. And it just says return to the guy. <laughs> well, it was like the easiest ever quest.
You've returned. Was your venture successful? I destroyed the barricade. A job well done. Thank you. You've done good by us, and we won't forget it. My pleasure. All right, so that was actually pretty easy. We didn't even need to go to the mine. Although we probably should anyway. I'm assuming it's off this way, maybe. We're missing a lot of spots. Need to be a little more careful and actually explore everything. Never know what you miss. Stomp mine. Okay, so we know where the mine is. Oh, hello. Skeletal warrior. Okay. Vigorous skull fetish. Not really worth much. Yeah. I'd say we can leave that lane. Go ahead back to camp now. I think I said I was level 26 now. All right, so that's done. We're actually going to make this a short one. Next time, we'll see what sort of trouble we get into. And if we can find, well, let's try to find the Elder next time, shall we? Until then, bye for now.